All right. So now we're gonna do maybe two or or the all the three problems that are left. Problem number eight. Your school is holding a talent show. Each entry consists of a pair of performers. In the auditions, each partner in a pair is awarded a score between zero and a hundred if the combined total of the pair exceeds 120. Or if either performer score exceeds 85, then the pair is accepted into the show. In addition, if a pair is awarded a combined score of less than 15, then they too are invited to perform in the show for novelty value. Write the method which will receive ints P1 and P2. And if P1 and P2 contain the scores of each individual in a certain pair and return true to the method, if and only if, the pair should be invited to perform in the talent show. Alright, so... I'm gonna get rid of this, and uh, again, notice that it says um, write the method. So we're just gonna write a method. Public boolean is invited. Int p1, int p2. So far, we're just following directions and doing what the problem tells us to do. Okay, and uh, what do we do? So if p1 p1 plus p2 let's do it without space so if p1 plus p2 is less than 15 we're gonna invite we're gonna invite these people to the dance right or if p1 plus p2 is greater than 120 we're also gonna invite them or if p1 is greater greater than 85 or p2 is greater than 85 so under all those conditions we are going to invite them to the dance we return true and um, else return false and that is it 10 points for that question next Write a method named count even that receives an integer parameter named number. Displays all even numbers between zero and the number received inclusive. And so it receives an integer par parameter and it's named count even. Let's start there. Public int. I think we're going to return this, this. I don't remember what we're going to return. Count even and receives an int and integer parameter. I don't remember what we're going to return right now. So let me go look. Bah, bah, bah. Return returns an integer value with a number of even numbers displayed. Okay. So it returns an int. Okay. And so it displays all even numbers between zero and the number in received inclusive and returns an integer value with the number of even numbers displayed. Okay, so that's as simple as four. Int or actually, let's declare our counter variable so we can uh, know how many times we displayed. So int counter equals zero, and then we do four int i equals 2. We start at 2, because 2 is the first even number we want to display. i is less than n, which is the parameter that got passed in. i plus equals 2, so we increment by 2. And uh, we do... inside this loop we do system dot out dot print line i and counter plus plus. So now what we've done is, you know, we run this for loop, f and and the for loop runs through the all the even numbers up until we reach that number without including. So if our number is eight, like the example said, um, it's going to display two, four, and six, and not eight because you know i is never going to the for loop is never going to be executed when when i is equal to eight because of this less than which is here. So that is going to make our for loop not run when i is equal to 8, so we know we're not going to display 8. And uh, that is it for problem number 9. And no, actually, no. We need to do some more stuff. And with each number, uh, which how many, for example, ta -ta -ta, returns an integer value with a number of even numbers displayed. Okay, now return counter. Now we're done. And 
that is it for that problem. Full credit. Now, number 10. Let's see about this number 10. Write a program that reads the hourly wage of an employee, then ask how many hours the employee worked in the past week. Compute the pay. Any overtime, 40 hours per week, is paid at 150% of the regular wage. Uh, write a class paycheck to solve this problem. So we're going to do public. Actually, you know what? Uh, yeah, I'm going to do it like that. No, I'm not. I'm just going to pretend that... Uh, well, first, let me copy these methods into whatever class I have in NetBeans and make sure that they run. So in our <laughs> in our car class we have this method and we're just gonna paste uh, ta -ta -ta. public boolean is inviting. What's going on here? Oh we needed a return. Yeah, okay. So we need to get rid of this else. That was actually my first uh, inclination to not use an else. And uh, it was correct. And what about this if? What's wrong? Oh, I wrote if again in here, like a dummy. Okay, now it's right. I mean, I wouldn't really dock you points for something like the else there. The if, probably, even though, you know, everybody makes typos. You have to be perfect in the test. I don't have to be perfect. You do. Okay. And I'm going to tab this out. This one actually was well written. And, uh, okay, now I'm going to delete what I have in Notepad. And uh, write what? What am I writing? The wage of an employee. Oh, dang. Oh, man. The wage of an employee, and then ask how many hours the employee worked in the past week. Okay, so we ask for the we're gonna call public class paycheck, and uh, this method is actually going to run some code. So what do we need to do? Public static void main string array args. And what do we need to do? Ask scanner in new scanner system dot in and then system dot out dot print line enter wage and then um, wage in dot next double. And then system dot out dot print line enter hours and hours. Ooh, I forgot to declare, but I'll do that in a second. In next double. Okay, so I actually can't do this. This has to be declared. It's not referenced anywhere else, so it's double hours and double wage. All right. And then what do we do next? Da, 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 any so we just compute and print compute the pay. I mean it doesn't say to print it, but we're gonna print it. So if ours greater than forty or let's call it here double gross pay equals zero. If R is greater than 40, um, gross pay, uh, equals hours uh, minus 40 times 1.5 for overtime times wage plus 40 times wage. And that is it. And uh, else, if ours less than or equal to zero, 
gross pay equals zero else else and uh, we'll do it that way so else gross pay equals hours times wage uh, system dot out dot print line pay gross pay and that is it for this problem so let's put it up on NetBeans call a new class pay check was it did I spell it like that no I spell it with lowercase c pay check and let's see oh didn't run because I forgot my imports control shift I and I have a typo here system dot out the print line well, let's see and now we're gonna move this here enter wage 15 bucks an hour and then enter hours 55 no let's do 60 60 hours pay 1050 I don't know sounds about right good to go that's another 20 points in the exam.